So, Nick, what's happening in the book you're reading there? You really want me to read it out loud? All right, I'll read it fucking out loud. All right, here's the next section. A quick change operation. Nun's fedora falls over his forehead. You, you, my mutilated little genital scum, are one huge <laughs> orgasm waiting to happen. <laughs> the swing moves through its pendulum path. The light and shadow of his face cuts into a speckled band. A shadow on his neck, on the neck of the sun. What? My center of gravity shifts. I fall from the swing with a thud. Collapse on the ground and stare into the eyes of Nun. He starts to dismount, deftly, until his pupils dilate like infused ashes spreading through the circulatory system. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've lost myself for the moment. He grips his head in both hands as if knocked by a falling rock and flips the fedora on the ground with a swish. The hat is ripped in the center, split in by an invisible adz. I don't know, ADZ. How the coke is. Yeah, it's not gonna work. What the fuck? Adz. ADZ. The size of a struggle in, a, in its crumbling fabric. Above me, none is moaning, but I keep my eyes on the hat. In a flash, it splits and disint disintegrates. It's the end for you, bum Bailey. Bailey? <laughs> I am not making any of this up. Like lightning, he is off the swing, sending it into a furious twist. His face becomes a decayed petal shredded with, a sharpened, with sharpened fangs. Got it yet, my juicy little bitch? <laughs> My back cuts against gravel under the dark robe. The old man grins down at me as if his mouth hung from chains in the sky. A nine-foot apparition. That is a single paragraph. A nine-foot apparition. It's just a sentence. <laughs> Wait. A nine-foot apparition? She wouldn't have come into you again, dial-up. Not while I was in there. Yes. Dial-up? The main character of this story is named Dial-up Networking. What? And this is a post-apocalyptic story. Yup. About a giant ice worm that fucks the water out of Lake Michigan. Yup, that's the sum of it. And something controlling women by their vaginas. Going into their vaginas. Going into their vaginas and controlling them. Yes. And the main character is slowly turning into a woman. Uh, the other main character. Another main character is slowly turning into Named a woman. Washington Jefferson Lincoln Quee. Okay. Yes, everyone who is not a member of the anarchist gang has a bunch of presidential names as their names, except for their very last name. Because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Not while I was in there, having my way with your vagina. <laughs> so I left for a time. And you corralled these lizards all by your lonesome. Shows your nun a complete waste. Not a complete waste, sorry. He unzips his fly. Oh no. Now, stop wasting ti time dial-up networking and bring me the worm. Sand in my eyes, sandpaper eyes. Grow on sightly warts, you grizzled pig nut. Sandpaper voice. <laughs> Wait, is that a character name or is that an actual description of the vocal tones? That's just a sentence. Is it a sentence? Sandpaper voice. Yeah, it's still unfocused. The giant Signor Clicker Mengu lisp mutt. Lips mutt. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's still unfocused. Okay. Shedhead's just making up words now. <laughs> Slashes my robe with scalpel flesh. Dangles a shriveled penis above the rim of my pussy. Dripping pre-cum droplets over the hair of my thigh. Did the lessons of my library stick. He mumbles some high priest mojo. But I can already feel the others break toward us. The rocking chair lizards under the stone ark. Freed from their cold-blooded inactivity and running toward us. What is Too this slow. even? I don't even... <laughs> the giant pulls a small camera gun from his jacket and takes aim at my heart. 
His cock hangs lower, but suddenly loses girth, pulled into thin putty. I stare into the sight of this gun, a tunnel vision impression. I don't need your cooperation anymore, my little pig tooth. You lead them to the uh, you led them to the island to the place where maneuvers fell. And with your dead carcass as bait, they will draw the salt worm once again to this place. Like all unimaginative elder gods, Amma Segnus demands a sacrifice. Wait a minute, elder gods? This really is about Cthulhu shit. <laughs> This book is the shit Cthulhu, Cthulhu takes the day after he eats Mexico. Drain by Davis Schneiderman. That is the best way I could sum this up. Well, that and what is this? I don't even. What is this? I don't even. No, 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 no. He cocks the sonic gun with the clicking of my throat, choking on sand. The thunderous cascade of footsteps run over pebble causeways. He lowers himself onto my thighs. I can feel the Signor's member, not as penis, but as ooze. Ew. Primal, sticky tentacles passing through my fellow re reproductive system Ew. and tracing a route through the intestines Ew. up into the stomach to carry the unprocessed wash in, in my head. What? <laughs> as I choke on the scum of his body, oh. the, the adverse ever the essent uh, darkness yeah. of this infected sludge, yeah. the future emerges. My pancreas, this book has a real fetish for pancreases, by the way. Why the pancreas? I don't fucking know, but it keeps coming up. Everyone is obsessed with pancreases. Because that's the most sexiest organ in the body. Back to the bullshit. The, <laughs> my pancreas will shatter, splinter my body into a sort of paralysis. Thousands of clitorises <laughs> become hanging pinatas from a laundry line. <laughs> clitorises. <laughs> Let me mixed. run that by you again. All right. Thousands of clitorises become hanging pinatas from a laundry line, <laughs> and I raise my body to lick just one. Just one oh. to open a giant gash that will carry me from this place. I can't move, and so surrender. Yes, my little clam, you are already dead, never knowing, diseased, predigested, fodder for amathsengness. Your mistake was to operate through the body. When we make our moves through the world, word, cleaner, more efficient, and in the end, inviolable. Wait a minute, is uh, dial-up being controlled by one of these creatures that could control people through their vaginas? No. Or is she I getting guess, raped? I don't know. If I could I smell cannot her comprehend. clam. If I could just smell her clam. His dark tendrils retract. Pulling in reverse by a ripcord, coagulating in the dark mass of the shriveled penis. Coagulating. <laughs> I concentrate on the gun, the barrel, moving in slow motion between my legs, <laughs> rollicking on the ground, the long shaft of its hot metal exploding down my throat, up my pussy, wait, <laughs> into the midsection wait, wait, wait. Of, my po of my body. Down, down her throat, up her pussy? <laughs> That's what it says! That is what it fucking says! My hammer- the hammer clicks. End of my world. Nothing. He fires again and everything flips. Everything flips. But the woman is below. Her gown of stars flowing under the dim twilight of the fading lanterns. This face crinkles as the bullet explodes this stomach into shattered brack. In his body, inhabit- inhabiting- Signor, I turn the weapon swiftly and punch it through his abdomen. Darkness presses in with the vacuum. The lizard people fall upon me in the body of the Signor. This giant carcass tumbles and then, all at once, I hear the screams of the rocking chair followers. Wait, the lizards are rocking chairs? I don't fucking know! 
swallowing the female me into their arms, sprouting voices so clear and crisp in morning that the crystal blue water all but stops indifference to my new body. A third ethereal form rising over the husk of dial-up networking and the red-bearded Signor. So is the woman becoming a man now, or is she becoming a rocking lizard, or is something else? I don't fucking know! I float <laughs> above the expanse, ghostly, far from the corpses below, viewing the bulbous arms of the rocking chair, people cradling the head I carried for so many years, then, furiously, stabbing the Signor again and again with the rusty end of his scalpel blade. And that's the end of the section. This has been a reading from Drain by Davis Schneiderman. I say this with no exaggeration. I would honestly prefer to be reading fucking Twilight right now than this fucker. Oi! Fucking oi! Oi fucking fucking oi! Oh boy, he's gone Australian. (laughs) Oh boy. And didn't you say something about uh, saying that uh, Dune made more sense than that crap? Dune is fucking sober. This is like Dune on drugs that the universe does not allow to exist. And then Cthulhu ate it (laughs) and then shit it out. Well, this is the Manga Man saying that uh, the next uh, review, the anime 2012, should be out later this March, once uh, spring semester comes to a closer end. Well, once spring break comes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little segment. One more thing. You will not believe this shit. This fucking book right now has a five-star rating on Amazon. Five? Five! Fucking five! Perfect five! It's only got three reviews. So, that probably explains a lot. The asshole probably hired three of his buddies to review it, and then anyone who tried to review it after could not survive reading it. Uh, We're gonna leave the NBC here in his torment. See you party peeps later.